Uh, let's go ahead and get into article one. We're going to be looking at how researchers from Carnegie Mellon University have proposed a method of cutting vehicle emissions and inspections using an IoT device that can transfer your car data to a state owned or a local government owned cloud. So this research is uh, authored by PhD student Prithvi Akaria and his uh, advisor, Professor Scott Matthews, along with Professor Paul Fishbeck. To give a little bit of context, right, for our listeners that might not be familiar with emissions testing, you might be outside of the United States or whatnot. There's currently 31 states in the United States that require vehicle owners to go in for a regular vehicle inspection for your emissions to make sure that your car is not putting out more toxic chemicals than it is allowed, depending on what year it came out, right? It's not like surpassing those standards. Um, It's something that I struggle with. I know personally, sometimes my inspections are overdue. Uh, Last time I went to get my wheels, I think, checked, uh, the mechanic was like, yeah, by the way, you're two months overdue for your inspection test. So I've got to be honest, little confession here. My pickup truck is currently late on its emissions inspection. Um, So that's good for me because now I don't feel alone. And I feel like this is something that a lot of people can relate with. Yeah, it probably, I hope it plagues more than us, just us two, (laughs) or we're just delinquents. I don't know, but let's hope not. But essentially, um, these researchers looked at the method that mechanics are using to actually test to check whether or not a car is over emitting. And what it boiled down to is that they're using the car's onboard diagnostics, which is the OBD. It's a computer within your car that keeps track of like, oh, your check engine light is on, your battery's bad, et cetera, et cetera. And the mechanic is going in and plugging their little computer into the device and going, oh, that yeah, the check engine light is not on. Therefore, Daniel's vehicle can pass inspection. And it sounds wonderful in theory, right? Like it's super efficient. Um, doesn't really take a lot of time and it's a good way for those states to make sure that the vehicles they have going around aren't doing too much damage to the environment. Wonderful. Okay. But this method has an accuracy of about 68%. That means 68% of the time it is good at determining if your car is an over emitter or if it's not an over emitter, which doesn't sound that bad, at least when I first read it until they mention that if you compare it to like tailpipe testing, that's where they take a device and connect it to your tailpipe and actually see the toxic chemicals you're putting out. They sniff the gas. I've literally never heard of anyone call it sniffing the gas, but yes, sure, sniffing the gas. If you compare it to sniffing the gas, it has a 50% false pass rate. That means half the time in comparison, it is passing cars that should not be passing. Yikes, that's no good. That's no good at all. Like you're kind of diminishing what the intention of this whole process is. And that sucks. So they had this idea. They were like, look, what if we could create some sort of machine learning algorithm? Some model that not only takes into account that one code that tells the mechanic whether or not your car is an over emitter. What if there was like a pattern of codes that could, te- that could give us a better picture that was much more closest in its analysis to what the tailpipe testing is doing? So they looked at, I think it was the state of Colorado, gave them permission to analyze the data for cars that had done both OBD testing and tailpipe testing. And they looked at a whole mix of DTC codes that your OBD port can send out. And that stands for Diagnostic Trouble Condition Codes. And they established a pattern that gave them the better idea, which resulted in a model that increased its efficiency from 68% to 87% more efficient, which is a substantial increase. But on top of that, it reduced the false pass rate significantly. I believe the figure they gave is that the um, the sensitivity of that detection increased 76%. Nice. Which is wonderful because that means even without doing the tailpipe testing, you're getting much, much closer to what that analysis would be like all from the calculations that are being done in the cloud. You never have to take your car into the mechanic. They never have to hook anything up. This is all being done in real time. It sounds like, like tailpipe testing is the gold standard in terms of determining the stuff that's being emitted out of your tailpipe because they're actually checking it. But... By connecting certain OBD computer codes with other cars that had actually been tailpipe tested, they can kind of relate what my car is doing by looking at the computer, by comparing it to other cars that have had similar conditions and then also been tailpipe tested. Is that correct? You hit it right on the head. That was my takeaway as well. And the reason that I thought this was so fantastic is like a two birds, one stone kind of mentality, right? One, you get a system that is much more accurate at determining if a car needs to go in and be checked like if it's an actual over emitter or not, which is good. That's good for it, the environment. It's good for the environment, right? On the flip side, it's good for you and I as vehicle owners because we don't have to be bothered with going in like once a year or once every two years to just be told that our cars are fine. 
this just this yeah. process is being done in real time and if my car is bad you flag it and i go into the mechanic but it's that value add for me already just sign me up right like i i'm already low on time throughout the day the last thing i want is to go to the mechanic which i already don't do and to hear them tell me that my car is okay <laughs> exactly and it's good for the mechanics as well is because they're not really making any money on these inspections it's just kind of like a loss leader so by having people that only have issues come in they also almost have like a guaranteed way of making money with that visit like you come in i tell you you like yeah for sure your car has an issue and here's how i can fix it and this is what it costs so it's like a win-win-win the government wins the mechanics win we win and the environment wins and the environment wins you're right so i guess it's a four wins yeah um well i i really like their approach here and you know reducing emissions and also making it convenient for everyone to do that in, in an effective way yeah so do i and like the the device that they're talking about, like some IoT device that can remotely send data analytics from your car to a cloud, I think you can find them like in the commercial market for anywhere starting from forty dollars to like a hundred dollars, which is like yeah, for forty dollars. That's less than two emissions. That's exactly right what there, I was thinking. So. Like in two years, that'll pay for itself. And just outside of inspections, I'm sure you're going to get like a whole host of goodies that'll come along with it. Yeah, that's really interesting. I. I like their approach on sustainability and making it easy for everyone to be sustainable. If I had a car that was over emitting, I'd like to know the day of instead of waiting two years to find out during my inspection. So I'm in the same boat, man. 